Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Linda and this is Ashley and we are nurse educators. You are tuning into our series In the Know where we make it simple. Today we are simplifying arterial versus venous insufficiency. First off, before we get started, let's talk about the circulatory system a little bit. Better yet, let's not talk about it, let's draw it. Here on Empowerment Nursing, we are big believers in drawing simple pictures to demonstrate complex concepts. So when I talk about the circulatory system, what I'm talking about are all of the hoses within your body um, that deliver stuff. So basically from your heart, um, how does things travel through the hoses of your body to deliver oxygen, nutrients, um, any supplies to the lower body and bring it back up to the heart. So meaning if we go down here, down to the feet, and how do we get back up to the heart from the feet? So it's called the circulatory system because as you can see here, it goes in one direction, one direction only. So all of our arteries, veins, and capillaries that deliver things like oxygen and nutrients um, all throughout our body. We have to have an intact circulatory system because obviously we need oxygen to stay alive. So how can we make this simple? Arteries take blood away from the heart. Arteries take blood away from the heart. So away from the heart down to deliver oxygen and nutrients to our lower extremities. Veins on this side bring the blood back to the heart. Yes, I know that's silly, but it works and that's okay. So veins bring the blood back to the right side of the heart from our lower extremities. So with that knowledge, we can talk about then if you understand Arteries take blood away from the heart and deliver oxygenated blood. And veins bring the blood back to our heart and return it to our heart from the periphery. We can start talking about the different signs and symptoms of arterial or venous insufficiency. Insufficiency means it's not working well enough. So this isn't working well enough. The arteries and the veins aren't working well enough over here. So venous insufficiency... Um, we'll start with arterial insufficiency actually. Signs and symptoms of arterial insufficiency. If the whole point of the arteries to take blood away from the heart to deliver oxygen and nutrients, if that's the whole purpose of it, if we have insufficiency, we're gonna see things about decreased oxygenation. So we're not getting enough oxygen delivery down to our periphery. So things like diminished pulses. Diminished. So if you were to take a dorsalis pedis pulse here on the foot, it would be difficult to feel. You would also see things like brittle nails because we're not getting enough oxygen or nutrients delivered down to our feet. This would be cold to touch because blood is warm and we're not getting enough blood perfusion to our feet. You would also see signs of cyanosis because we have decreased oxygen to our feet. Venous insufficiency is exactly the opposite. So you would have normal pulses, normal pulses, and that is because we have blood pooling because the veins are not bringing the blood back up to the right side of the heart. So this is blood pooling in our lower extremities. So you would have normal pulses, normal nails because we have adequate um, perfusion, adequate nutrients to our nails. This would be warm to touch because blood is warm and it's pooling here in the extremities. And we would see signs of brownish skin. And that's because blood is red and it's pooling in the lower extremities. So as you can see here, when you actually understand that arteries take blood away from the heart and deliver oxygen and nutrients to our lower extremities and veins bring the blood back up to our heart, um, returning it to our upper extremities. If arteries aren't working to take the blood away and veins aren't working to bring the blood back, these are all signs and symptoms of decreased oxygenation to our periphery. And these are all signs and symptoms of blood pooling because the blood isn't returning to our heart. So it's so much better if we actually understand physiological processes and what's going on than it is to memorize signs and symptoms. So this is an actual page from our textbook where you can see we discuss peripheral vascular disease in a side-by-side. -side, I just want to bring you quickly back to the picture because I forgot to mention something. This is a trick um, that we teach in all of our reviews as well as on our um, web-based live review that 
arteries, if we're going to teach patients, we want to dangle them down, right, to help these arteries get the oxygen down here to the periphery. And veins, if there's venous insufficiency, we want to teach patients to elevate those veins to help it bring the blood back up to the right side of the heart. So conveniently, um, the arrows point um, on the A downwards and the arrows on the V point upwards for venous insufficiency. So again, dangle down the legs for arterial problems and elevate the legs for venous problems. And so in our book, we have this side by side, and there's a reason for that. Uh, whenever you have similar concepts such as this, it's very key to study them beside each other. And this is because when you study beside each other, you start to pull out the differences. And our brain takes content in in a more deep way when we can compare two things. So you have a longer term retention of knowledge when you study them together as opposed to you studying them separately. And this is why throughout our study package, whenever possible, we have incorporated side-by-sides because it helps with assistance of knowledge retention. Thank you so much for joining us. We invite you to subscribe to our live videos so you'll be notified when we're live online. You can also um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, like and share this video with your nursing friends. Be sure to follow our Facebook page and check out our website, www.n-powermentnursing.com, where you can experience our free trial and view our complete study packages. If you like how we teach, the tricks that we use, the simple drawings that we do to um, enhance your understanding, all of the content in our entire textbook is taught this exact same way. All of the systems you need to succeed on your NCLEX, NCLEX PN, or CPNRE exam. And we actually guarantee when you take our program that you will pass or we give you your money back. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to shoot us a message. And we will see you next time on In the Know. Bye for now. Bye for now.